What's all this motion over here? Zombie, you say? <gasps> oh god, Jimmy! Don't worry, kid! That's a damn zombie in there! A zombie? I have Dr. White and his prince on his speed dial. Well, what are you waiting for? Um, um... Alright, alright, gotcha. We need to send a report, and Mr. White and Mr. King will be here any second now. Wow, I've never seen something like this in all my 34 years of sciencing. We're gonna have to take him back to the lab for further inspection. Alright, yo! Dr. White, well how are we gonna turn him back? None of us have done this before. In fact, it would be a revolution in science, yo. Shut up. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <gasps> That's it. Gene therapy. Gene therapy. Don't you get it? Gene therapy is a disease cure and genetic engineering tactic. It entails uh, inserting a good gene at a random position in the genome to help in the treatment of the disease. In this case, the zombie infection that was caused by that mutated gene those damn human eaters carry. Diseased cells are frequently introduced to the beneficial gene that acts as a vector transmitted by virus so the, so the host cell could infiltrate the other host cell and transport foreign DNA. We can change his genetic material. Back then, it used to be more difficult, but now, I guess it's a pretty simple process. I can't believe I haven't thought of this sooner. Yo, how are we gonna prevent this from ever happening again? Can create a vaccine to elicit the first immune reaction. Conventional vaccination techniques focus on the weakened bacteria. To mass produce a necessary antigen, procedures nowadays depend heavily on microorganism genes cloned into vectors. The antigen is then delivered to the body in order to activate the initial uh, immune response and prompt immune memory. To tackle the virus's continually shifting strains, cloned genes from the zombie virus have been employed. To White, do you think we can make some antibiotics for the patient too? It says here, microorganisms like fungus create antibiotics naturally to gain an edge against microbial pathogens. For example, the antibiotic penicillin is considered to be one of the most widely used antibiotics and unbeknownst to many, originates from penicillin mold. Antibiotics are mass produced by growing and manipulating fungal cells. Hey yo, I took penicillin this morning. Man, you're telling me I ate mold? Man, this biotechnology stuff is cool. I'm glad I'm your apprentice, Mr. White. Uh, yeah, speaking of all that penicillin insulin stuff, I remember when I was studying for one of my final exams, it said somewhere that as early as 1978, recombinant DNA technology was utilized to manufacture substantial amounts of human insulin in E. coli. Four, diabetes could only be medicated using pig insulin, which due to variations in the gene product triggered allergic responses. Childhood development problems were often treated with human growth hormone, which would help preserve organs and tissues throughout life, while also charging growth during childhood. The HGH genes replicate from a cDNA library and cloned into a bacterial vector when it was delivered into E. coli cells. Steady, steady! This shouldn't take that long. I've inserted the good gene to get rid of the mutated zombie gene. Now all we have to do is wait. Help me, 
but I put me out of my misery. I'm just glad I saved everyone else. Uh, damn it. Damn right. You saved everyone else. It's because we have future generations. We can prosper. And those genes will be passed on to them. Thank you for everything. Our bond was irreplaceable. I'm sorry. You have to go.